Hey, what is going on guys? Cisco here. Welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing ChatGPT. So whether you are a casual user or maybe you've been using ChatGPT for quite a while and you might be thinking about upgrading to their uh, paid plan, ChatGPT Plus, then understanding the difference between the, the free version and the paid plan is really important. So stick around. I'm going to break down some of the features. I'm also going to weigh in on the pros and cons of ChatGPT and see if it's worth paying the 20 bucks that they charge you for their premium version. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So what exactly is ChatGPT? Well, ChatGPT was created by a company called OpenAI. Now, this company was founded back in 2015 in San Francisco, California, and ChatGPT is an AI language model that can understand and generate human-like text. Now, the best thing about it is you can use it in pretty much any field, right? Whether you are an educator, a content creator, a business owner, you can use ChatGPT GPT for things like um, making it your writing assistant, uh, brainstorming, or simply just to have some, if you have some questions and that you need some answers to, right? Then definitely chat GPT is going to be your best friend. All right. So now let's talk about the free plan. Okay. Now the good news is that anyone can have access to chat GPT without spending a dime. As you can see, they do offer a free plan. Okay. Um, but of course, with the free plan, you are going to have um, just a basic functionality, right? You're going to be able to uh, create your prompts or ask your questions and the AI is going to give you a response on pretty much any topic that you wish for okay <clears throat> now obviously since it's a free plan you are going to have some limitations so for example like the response speed um, you're going to notice that during those like peak usage times you're going to notice that it slows down okay it's not a big deal but it does happen now, another thing is that obviously you're not going to have access to like the latest updates or features, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. It's their free plan. Okay. Now for me, like in my case, I use this uh, tool to create videos for a secondary channel that I have. So I do have a, um, a spirituality channel that um, I'm going to show you real quick. I create all these prompts that I that you see here are pretty much for that channel. It's a Spanish channel that I have and I'm currently growing it, right? So for example, like the, the video script, um, I get ChatGPT to write it. The titles, I get ChatGPT to write them. The descriptions, um, the tags that I use, like just recently i started using chat gpt to create the image for my thumbnails okay so i mean for me it has worked out perfectly the free version okay and um you know that's not to say i mean you might want to consider that because as far as i know I, I did a little bit of reading and i found that for example like some of the information that you get it's not really up to date it's not really updated so it, it's information like from uh you know a few months back for, for example, I know it's been updated up until like December 2023, as far as I know. So yeah, that might be an issue for some people, but as far as me, like that's not a problem. Okay, so you might want to check that out too. But besides that, I mean, I'm pretty happy with what, I, what ChatGPT offers me for free. Now, let's talk a little bit about their paid plan. They do have two plans that are uh, paid. So for example, they have this one right here, ChatGPT Plus which is $20 a month. Now it says boost your productivity with expanded access. You're going to get everything in the free plan plus these um, uh, these other features, right? Access to OpenAI uh, 01 preview, OpenAI 01 mini, and then, you know, all these other things right down here. Now you're also going to get, you can also get the uh, business plan. Now this is for teams. I'm guessing like if you have like... Um, um, which we call it like an agency, some some sort of like marketing agency, then this would definitely be something to look into right here. Okay. Now, obviously, because if you are a paid member, then you are going to have some perks, right? Like supposedly, you're not going to have to worry about like the, the uh, response speed being too slow, because, you know, obviously, that's what you're paying for, right? You're going to have 
priority in those type of uh, scenarios. But I mean, other than that, I mean, you know, for me, like I said, I stick with the free plan. I have not paid not once for this. So I wouldn't be able to tell you like as far as what I've noticed. Um, but I can tell you that if you're just getting started, you might just want to start with the free plan. All right, so now I want to talk about some of the pros of using ChatGPT, the free plan. Now, of course, one of the pros would be that it's completely free, so that is definitely an advantage. Second, this is very easy to use. I mean, all you really have to do is just create an account, um, which I believe you don't even have to anymore. That, at least that's what I heard. Um, but as far as I know, like I, I have an, I've created an account and from time to time it actually logs me out and it, it makes me log back in. But um, I mean, other than that, it's pretty easy. Just, you know, log in here and you can start using it. And then the, um, the last but not least also would be that this is very helpful, right? So if you're a casual user or, you, you know, you have like very light tasks, um, this definitely speeds up whatever you're doing like it speeds up the process like i mentioned before i have a secondary youtube channel that i wanted to create all using ai and believe it or not i mean chat gpt does a huge part of the work for me right it creates the scripts it writes the titles descriptions so all those things if i didn't have chat gpt i would have to create them myself myself which would, you know, take time, right? So using ChatGPT really speeds up the process by tenfold. So definitely, definitely it has its pros. Now, some of the things that might be a pain in the ass when you're using the free version of ChatGPT, um, of course, you're going to have limited access when you like when, when you're using the tool, like during those um, high traffic times. Um, yeah, you are going to kind of get frustrated from time to time because the response time kind of slows down. I mean, you put in a prompt and then you'll notice like an error message and yeah, that can get frustrating from time to time. But I mean, for everything else that you get, that you get with the free version, I mean, I think that that's really minor stuff, um, to worry about. And uh, besides that, like another thing might be, yeah, you don't get access to their um, updates and their the, all the features and the bells and whistles that they, they, they offer with the paid version. But honestly, like I've mentioned before, like me in my case, you know, I use this um, to create my videos. I don't think that's really like... Um, huge projects. I mean, they're very light projects. So, I mean, I'm fine with what the free version offers, honestly. All right. So, who is this tool for? All right. So, look, if you are a student, if you are a beginner, someone that's just learning about ChatGPT and you want to kind of dip your toes in it, uh, you know, um, then definitely I would say stick to the free plan. I mean, because you can ask questions, you can put in your prompts and the AI is going to give you a response without you having to commit to a subscription. Now, on the other hand, if you're a professional, let's say you run a marketing agency or some sort of agency and you have clients that rely on you, you know, finishing work on time and things like that. And you can't afford like having slow response times and maybe the uh, platform being uh, having too much traffic at one time and kicking you out and things like that, then yes, definitely um, try the paid plan and see how that works for you, right? Now, to wrap things up, I want to say that obviously both the free plan and the paid plan have their own unique advantages. Um, with the free plan, you can just explore the capabilities of ChatGPT, you know, see how everything works without having to commit to a monthly subscription and if you need more from the service for example then you can check out the pay plan you know check out the updated features and all the bells and whistles that they have and see if that's for you right it all really depends on your needs and you know based on that you want to go ahead and pick the plan that best fits the usage okay now, with that said, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, if you got some value from it, make sure you smash that like button. 
Also consider subscribing to the channel, click on that notification bell icon, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about ChatGPT, what has been your experience so far. Um, let me know if you think the paid plan is worth it, or if you're just going to stick with the free plan. I would definitely love to hear your thoughts. With that said, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.